as they have said countless times on Monty Python's flying circus. <laughs> Something completely different. Not entirely, but we've never heard this version of this piece before. I, well, virtually guarantee it. If, if it has happened in this incarnation before, I'm not aware of it. Which doesn't mean that I've heard everything in the world. There's a lot going on out there. Um, Tchaikovsky never wrote a bona fide cello concerto. Violin, yes. Piano, yes. This set of variations on an original theme in the Rococo style was the closest that he got. And he worked with a cellist, the famous German cellist, to get this done. Um, well over a year ago, um, I think maybe 13, 14, 15 months by now, Ethan Weiner, a dedicated and devoted patron of Danbury Music Center and good friend of the arts, um, proposed the idea of playing the Rococo variations, not on the cello, and he does play the cello, um, but on the electric guitar. I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me, this is my Carson moment. <laughs> and I thought about it. And I thought about it some more. And I thought that, you know what? Why not? I didn't have to think about it that hard, OK? Um, but the sounds and the um, schematic, you might say, of what he has um, introduced to the piece to get the variety of tones and colors, not to imitate the sound of a cello, obviously, because a guitar, electric or not, is not a cello. Um, it would never sound the same anyway. But what he has done to infuse this um, version <coughs> with color is really quite astonishing. And so without further ado, I'd like to bring forth Mr. Ethan Weiner. Well, well, you know what you didn't say? What did, I not, say, well, it was what did I not say? Well, it was about 11 months ago. Take over. And I had to <laughs> come back from the dead. I hadn't played the guitar much for about 30 years, 35 years <laughs> while I was playing the cello for a little bit, and, and nothing. But he made me audition. I, when, I, when I emailed you, he said, well, what's it going to sound like? <laughs> so okay, I, I left that part out. So. <laughs> 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 so I worked up uh, three of the variations and sent it, and you said okay. So that was that was cool, and I appreciate that. You know what? Act actually, is really kind of cool if I make this for a second. Yes, this is a, a device um, called an e bow, an electronic bow, and what it does is give um, the guitar, which otherwise has a relatively rapid decay when you strum the strings, it kind of there's a sound that it's not unless you have something else to sustain it. But this is the closest that I've, I've heard to um, imitating the sound, either of a bowed instrument or a theremin, another electronic instrument which, with a kind of eerie tone quality. It's really quite unusual and not so easy to manipulate this, if I remember. That's right. That's right. <laughs> OK. Glad I got that right. OK. So, ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Ready as I'll ever be. OK. <laughs> Here we go.